Well, hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate everyone here. I want to welcome all those who are joining us online. So we're going to kick off our third and final vision night here in Birmingham. Come on. So we're so excited. We haven't met. My name is Howard, and I am the lead pastor of City of God Church that we are launching in Tampa, Florida. That's going to be September 19th of this year. So we are so excited. Yes. Come on, let's give it up. Yeah. That's God right there. Yeah. So, hey, before we get started tonight, I want to honor a few people. So Mark and Susie, who own this building, we are so grateful for them, uh, their leadership, their friendship. Um, we so appreciate them. Also, you know, let's give it up for each person we, we honor. Amen. Amen. So also, I want to thank my lead pastor, Pastor Matt. He couldn't be here tonight. So thank you so much, Pastor Matt, um, really for believing in Paula and myself, for the vision and the leadership in our life. Um, he is the lead pastor at the Gathering Place in Moody, Alabama. So we are so grateful for him. Let's lift it up for Pastor Matt. So um, I would like to introduce my wife and my two little girls. They're not here, but I'm going to um, introduce them. So this is my wife, Paula. Hello. And she makes me look so good, don't she? Thank you guys for coming. I was so happy to get to meet you all. Um, what a full room. How exciting. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, here, get the mic back. <laughs> so we have two daughters. We have a four-year-old named Lala Grace, and we have a two-year-old named Olivia Blake. And Olivia, we call her Via, but her real name, you, some of you heard it today, should be hot sauce. And um, seriously, she gets me to pray a lot, and I'm, I'm somewhat concerned. But uh, it's funny, Lila, when she was... I guess a couple years old, she was just like, wild as all get out. So we're praying for our second child that will be a little bit more chilled. And God's got a really funny sense of humor. We got a double portion, and there's three girls and one guy. So I, I'm like, that's like out of balance. So y'all pray for me. Yeah. So um, also I would like to honor each and every person up here. So why don't you guys stand for a minute? Yeah. So this is some of the City of God team already, excuse me, City of God team already that's going to Tampa, Florida. And it's such an amazing um, journey. Just really what I believe the hand of God already on this church, because God has touched each and every person's heart to move from Alabama and step out and go to Tampa, Florida. So let's honor them one more time. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Hey, so before I share my heart and a little bit of the vision of City of God, I wanted to ask one of the people on our team to share a little bit about his journey and how the Lord has touched his heart to go to City of God in Tampa, Florida. So Nathan Bird. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, it's cold out here, guys. Um, so I'm a former uh, Highlands College grad. Come on now. Evening program representing up in here. Ran the Highlands College Marathon a couple times. Where's Hamid? Where you at, Hamid? Hey, but Hamid, you know, he ended up getting me back on the run to the heights. So uh, I'll see you soon, homie. Um, well, hey, guys, I just, uh, man, I'm honored that you guys would come and spend your evening with us tonight. Um, it's a privilege. Um, just uh, this is what God has really been putting in my heart um, in this season, this crazy season that we've been in, COVID's kind of impacted a lot. Um, we've all been kind of maneuvering through it and steering through it. But this is what the Lord put in my heart, um, I would say, at the very beginning of the season. He says, this is your finest hour. You know, this goes back to when Winston Churchill was looking at the Allies in World War II when they faced, you know, significant odds. And he says that generations are going to look upon you one day and they're going to say, this is your finest hour. Guys, I believe this is the greatest hour that we could ever be alive. You know, and I, and I believe that God right now in this environment, he's actually tapping people to do marvelous and powerful things. You know, I believe that this is a manifestation of this, this church right now as a response to the darkness, to the calamity, to the issues 
that we see right now. You know, guys, and my journey has been just so incredible. Coming through Highlands College is really the meeting place where Howard and I met. This is where we got connected, and then God knew all along that he was connecting us here. We went down to the gathering place, and we've seen some powerful things at the gathering place, but we've heard the voice of the Lord say, Tampa is your next destination. Jesus himself, it says, I was not led by what? Bread alone, or I don't, I don't live by bread alone, or the things that are the natural in the natural. I don't reason in the natural, but I'll listen to every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. You know, and guys, I just want to encourage you that um, I believe right now that the Lord is asking us to follow. You know, all the disciples, you know, they had an option. They had, a, they, they had a decision to make, you know, when Jesus said, follow me. You know, and I believe that right now that guys, that, that, that the Lord is asking us to simply lay down our lives and follow him and experience, you know, the longings of our heart, the destiny and the purpose that God has for us. And so I was reading Mark 14 the other day, and I'm looking at the disciples, and, you know, they're in the Gethsemane with Jesus, but Peter, James, and John actually go with him further into Gethsemane, I'm like, Lord, like, why was uh, these guys always got this front row? And he says, because they were the first to follow. And they were the first to follow me. And guys, I believe that for you um, that are listening online um, and uh, that are here in this place, that there is um, some, something that the Lord is actually going to minister to you um, where he's going to capture your heart and he's going to say, will you follow me? Some of you may actually follow us to Tampa. You know, we were asking people, hey, will you give yourself? Will you move down there and follow us to Tampa? Will you actually, maybe, maybe you can't come down full time, but maybe you can come down part time and help us launch. Maybe you just want to go through prayer. Maybe you just want to go through resources. But I believe that God is going to grip you um, with following. I got a couple more minutes. All right, cool. All right, so hey, so he, he always, he always, yeah, yeah. He, he, hey, there's this thing we call long winded ministries. And uh, I'm a disciple of Howard's. But I do want to speak, I, w- I want to speak into um, why it's easy for me to make these decisions because I've been rolling with this dude for seven years. And when the disciples said yes to Jesus, this man has said yes to Jesus so many times. You heard about his 12-year quarantine today, I'm sure, in Highlands College, right? Well, when he got out of quarantine, man, he was in Florida, all right, led by the Spirit, just like Jesus. Then Mayo, through the Spirit of God, said, hey, Howard, maybe you need to come up here to Birmingham. Well, he listened to the Lord and he came. He was at Highlands for a season. Then he heard the Lord say, I need you to go out to the gathering place. And now he's hearing the Lord again say, no, now it's time for you to go to Tampa. I can get behind somebody who can actually say yes to Jesus. And I want, I want to leave you with this thought. There's a song. Y'all know Lindy Conant, worship leader? So she has a song. She says, there's a yes in my heart, and it echoes through eternity. Simple obedience changes history. I can get behind somebody who has a yes in their heart, and I'm following a dude right now. And I really, I really hope that you will prayerfully consider about joining this team come September 2021. All right, I'm going to let Howard steal the mic. I'm going to back up for a minute. Uh, it's cold out here. It's cold out here. So uh, I'm, I'm extremely honored for everyone here, like I said, for our team. I said this a minute ago, and I want to reiterate this. I just really believe that it's the hand of God already on this church, the key to a church is going to be the team, the people, so that we believe in a vision and we go impact a city or cities or a nation. Amen? So, you know, when it, when it comes to uh, going to a city like Tampa or any other city, one of the biggest questions that we get asked as a lead pastor is, is why? You know, why, why are you going to that city? What's interesting is um, I've done ministry – in Miami, and I've done ministry in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm from Jacksonville, and the Lord actually put Tampa inside of my heart. And so when people ask me, you know, why Tampa? First and foremost, it's because the Lord has placed that inside of my heart, inside of Paula's heart. And we're willing, we're willing to go and be obedient and follow him even when it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, when it might be easier to go to Miami or it might be easier to go to Jacksonville, we're going to choose to follow him. And anytime you step out in obedience with the Lord, all right, he's going to put his exclamation point behind that. Are you with me? So that's the beginning. So even when God begins to speak, you still got to do your homework, right? You still got to come up. You got to do your homework. You need to find out a little bit about that city. So this team, myself, we went down there. We've had our feet on that geography. We've prayed. And we've looked into the eyes 
of the people in Tampa, Florida. And it's a beautiful city. It really is. It is a beautiful city right on the coast, some of the whitest sand beaches in all the world. Palm trees. (laughs) Not cold weather. Yeah, we got Mickey Mouse down there. Yeah, let me get a shout-out to the sports right now. So we terrible in college, but, hey, right now in pros, we went and won the Stanley Cup in hockey, went to the World Series in baseball, and we're about to go. We're going to the Super Bowl in football. So come on, the hand of God is on Tampa. Yeah. So I know all you Alabama fans here, I know y'all lay hands on the TV when, y'all, when Alabama plays. So I know y'all pray for y'all's football team. Yeah. Nick Saban's good, but he's not that good. Y'all got, y'all got backed up with prayer. But as cool as the city is, like there's a lot of fun stuff to do, and it is, it is a very cool city. At the same time, looking into the eyes of those people, you can see smiles, but you can also feel the Lord, and you know there's a lack of hope. There's despair. You can, you can actually feel the anxiety in the city. And that's what we want to do. We want to get down there. We want to have our feet down there. We want to actually feel the city and actually look into people's eyes because the biggest thing in the heart of God is people. That's what ministry is all about. It's about people, right? And when I said the reason why we're going is because God put it on my heart and Paula's heart and this team's heart right here, it's because it's so big in the heart of God. It's on his mind is all those people. Some of you guys heard this today. There's like 40,000 cities in America. Tampa is one of the most unreached cities in all of America. It's one of the biggest post-Christian cities. And what that means is, it means it's a city far from God. And there's so many people. There's 4 million people in Alabama. There's right at 4 million people in this area. And the studies show, out of 3.8 million people, that's roughly how many people's there? 60%. Don't know Jesus. Yeah. So that, that's a mission field. That, that's enough reason right there, right? So this is what we want to do. We want to go down there. We want to plant a church, all right? I said this today. If you heard, I'm going to say it again. We're going to lift Jesus so high. That's what we're going to do. We're going to lift him up. We're going to lift him up when it comes to every single team, when it comes to worship, when it comes to the gospel message, every single thing. We're going to lift Jesus up, and he's going to make sure that he draws people. That's what he does. There's going to be an incredible environment inside of this space where Jesus is lifted up. Yeah, people are going to know God. They're going to find freedom. They're going to discover their purpose, and they are going to make a difference. That's going to be our heart. And we're going to focus on people that don't know Jesus. But at the same time, we have an incredible heart, all right, to be outward focused. I got to serve in outreach while I served at Highlands. And um, it was really incredible just to be a part of the outreach team at Highlands. Y'all know Pastor Dino Rizzo, right? His life was saved because of outreach. And look at the impact that he's making. So we want to be so outward focused. We know. That there's people out in the streets, right, that we want to go and we want to go after them. And this city, as beautiful as it is with all those people, there's so much darkness. There's so much brokenness. Some of the stuff that's there is it's, it's known for human trafficking. I'm going to stand up for a minute. Like, like people's lives are being stolen from their families. Like we can't let that go down on our watch. Are you with me? We wanted to go from one of the known cities when it comes to human trafficking. Well, we kicked that out of the city. We want to go after that. For real. Tampa's known for homelessness. Like, America's one of the most prosperous cities in America. We want to be out in the streets. We want to share our heart. We don't want to just give them hope. We want to give them some substance. Yeah, we want to give them something. You know? We want to reach out to those who are out in the street who are homeless. You know, at the same time, there's kids that need connection. We have people on our team right now that are already fostering kids, and this is going to be a really big deal for us when it comes to outreach. We want to go after kids. We want to connect with kids, and we want to bring them inside of a family environment where we're known inside of our house, all right, where we create a family environment, and we're touching kids inside of Tampa. So our hearts, right, guys? 
our heart is to be outward focused, to go into the streets and chase people down with the love of Jesus Christ. Let them know that Jesus cares about them, to give them hope, to give them some things that can help them. And that's a big outreach piece. That's a big part of our heart. But it don't stop there. So our vision, it stretches beyond these borders. So I've had the opportunity. I know Pastor Nate and myself, some more people on this team. I know Shelby has. Shelby has. We've got a chance to go to different countries. And we got a heart for India. We have a heart for Africa. We've been to India, and we've planted churches over in India. We've raised up. We, we've uh, mentored leaders over in India. And it's just it's really incredible to see. You know, the return on your investment when you go in these countries, your ROI, what do you get for your return of actually your investment for going over there? We would call that our eternal return on our investment. So we go over there, and it's like people are so hungry to hear about Jesus. All that's over there is darkness. You can go inside of a house and talk to somebody about Jesus, and it's so easy for them to receive. So we've been over there. We've seen churches being planted seeing thousands, right, thousands being saved, and we're there for a matter of a week, two weeks, and see such a great impact. So India is a really big deal in our heart. We're going to Africa actually this June to begin to create some relationships. So our heart is to impact Tampa. Our heart is to impact throughout our nation. But we also have vision when it comes to outside of our borders in India in Africa, and we want to make an impact even abroad. So if you would love to be a part of this, if this is touching your heart, all right, we would love for you to be a part of it. So I want you to get out your phones. we get you to text something real quick. So text City of God to 484848. I'm sorry, COG. COG to 484848. Four eight four eight. And as you pull that up, you're going to see four boxes. And hey, guys, I'm going to ask everybody in here to check that first box, okay? I'm going to ask you to pray for us, all right? And I'm going to ask Jesus to wake you up in the middle of the night and for you to pray for us. So you know this, you've heard everyone that goes to the Church of the Highlands, even at the gathering place, we know this, that prayer, all right, is the key. Prayer is the key. Some people say it's the secret sauce. No, it is the key, all right, to God's heart. And this is where God trusts us right here. God has written us inside of his plan. And God has chosen, even when it comes to the fullness of his power his hand, how he moves, is to move through prayer. So we're going to ask you to pray for us. I'm going to ask you specifically to pray for a few things. As you check that box, we're going to shoot you an email, and that email is going to let you know for a few things that we would love for you to pray about. Does that sound good? Also, there's three other boxes on there. We would love for you to pray about giving financially to the city of God. Um, That's easy to ask for. And the reason I say that is because it takes finances to move the kingdom of God. And everybody in here, you have a heart already for the kingdom or you wouldn't be here. Okay? And every single dollar matters. Okay? Every single dollar. So don't never think that your part, all right, can't make an impact. It's interesting to actually watch how God honors when it comes to finances. Do you ever notice the scripture when Jesus sat and watched people give into the treasury? You should go back and check that out because it says the woman that gave the least in the eyes of God gave the most. Yeah, because it's all about our heart and giving into the kingdom. So we would need your help in that area. You could check that box and we'll reach out to you. One other place, and Pastor Nate mentioned this a minute ago, is, hey, guys, if you can't come to Tampa and you don't feel like that's your place to move, we would love you to come down for the summer. Help us do some outreach. Help us get out in the streets. Help us love on some people. We want to partner with the city. We want to actually serve our city. So you could come down there. You could serve with us in outreach. Help us continue to build, all right, a critical mass of our launch team over the summer. And who knows? You get close enough, 
you might slip on in. Yeah, it's a little bait and switch there for you. But, hey, that just might be a piece. You know, you might want to just come down. I encourage some of the Highlands College students today. I said, hey, just come down and check it out, you know. So that would be another box you can check. We're going to reach out, reach out to you. And lastly, if you believe and pray about this, if you believe that this could be a place that God wants you to move, we want to connect with you. All right, we want to share a little bit more about our heart. I would love to sit down, have coffee with you, and we're going to reach out to you. So check that box, and you'll get an email from us um, as early as tomorrow, and we'll touch base with you. How's that sound? Good. Sound good? Well, guys, hey, listen, everybody stand for a minute. Pastor Jordan, I'm going to ask you to come pray if you don't mind. I'm putting him on the spot. a good friend of mine he's actually one of the overseers the city of god so thank you so much um, for your heart and your leadership and um in my life helping me at highlands college so uh just ask you to pray um pray for each and every person here all those who are watching online and uh our team and what's in front of us yeah I love it, man. Love you guys. Love what God is doing here. And I just, even before I pray, I want to say, I know we got a lot of HC students here on behalf of Highlands College. We're just, we're thankful for what you did today. And uh, you left an impact and an imprint uh, on our student body. And uh, I know you wouldn't take credit for that. We know who gets the credit. But even regardless of who goes, you guys need to know we are behind this 100%. And we love church planners, but especially when we have people that we know and love like you and Paula and the whole team. And, and I'm thankful we got Nate through. I don't know how we did that, but somehow <laughs> we were able to get him through somehow. I don't know. Yeah, let's pray. Hey, if you would, just stretch, just stretch your hands towards this team. God, we thank you so much for calling us, everyone in this room, uh, in this building, to just be a part of your church and what you're doing here on this earth. And God, we know the sacrifice that these people out here on this porch have made Uh, The decisions, I was talking to some of them even before, the decisions to leave family, to leave homes, to leave and go do a work that you're calling to. We know that you'll give more even now for that, but that's not what it's all about. God, I pray for Howard, for Paula, for their two girls. God, I pray that you will give them peace in their home, that you'll give them rest. God, I pray that you will be made known in this plant. God, that your name will be lifted high. And God, that this would not be about no woman, no man, no group of people, but in in the city of God in Tampa, Florida, you will be known. And God, we pray right now for every person in Tampa that has yet to meet anybody from here. God, as they're sitting right now in their living rooms, at their workplace, where they are, and they're looking to you as dark as Howard shared. It's a dark place, and all they need is Jesus. We pray that you'll begin to prepare their hearts, their souls to receive. And God, as this team begins to put their feet in that city, I pray that you'll open doors, you'll make connections, and that your name be lifted high. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, hey, guys, thank you so much for coming out tonight. We got some more coffee and some refreshments so you guys can hang out. But thank you so much.